about how to make your business sweet in 2016 for those who were excited about that. That's pretty. I think I need to put Where's the clicker? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hope you're not tired of me already. <laughs> so we have 10, I think I have 10 minutes. Is that right? Are you the timekeeper? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. You are amazing. Uh, you might have to stand by the computer. Where do you have to click it? Up here? No, you should be able to go anywhere. Okay. I think you did that. Okay. All right, sorry for that technical difficulty. So, oh, it's working, okay. So what do you want your biz to look like in 2016? In any, in most other industries, in, in big business, if you worked for John Deere here in town, because I saw the John Deere when I was coming from the airport, or if you work at Kessler's, I'm looking at some water, the store. Um, you know, people do business plans every year. That's what happens in, in business. You know, they do business plans. It's a roadmap. You know, you don't know where you're going unless you do a business plan. Oh, I forgot a book that I wanted to bring up here because I have a little something. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Oh, it's here. Oh. How are you guys? I'm usually way better organized than this. So, um, so it, it takes some hard work sometimes to think about what you want your business to look like. You have to really think about it. You have to kind of dig deep. You have to look at what your why is. So I want you to think about what you want your business to look like. Um, there's a lot of things that you can think about. You want financial freedom. You want to re-rank, uh, promotion, build a team, get out of debt, stay at home. So many different things that motivate us, that tap into our why. And I always tell people you want your why to make you cry. You know, when you really think about it. When I used to think about, man, if I could pay for college without adding more to the debt, that would kind of tear me up. You know, do you want to have a baby in 2016? Do you want to buy a house? Do you want to make sure that you keep the house that you're living in? Lots of things that fuel us. So really tap into that, you know, take a moment and think about what you want. And then you wanna make some goals. So when you all came in, everybody got, you know, one of these little things, the 2016 goal. I will be a, and I don't want you to put unicorn. <laughs> you know, like I will be a lead consultant. I will be a team manager, you know, whatever. Bye. I will be bye you know, and then action steps, and then attend GenCom, attend regionals, earn the incentive trip, and then I want you to think about your why, and we're gonna work on this throughout the day, you don't have to do it absolutely right now this second, but, you know, I want you to, to think about those things. And when we think about goals, you know, that you can go through so many different, you can type in goal setting on Google, and like 10 gajillion pages comes up. There's so much that's out there. But everybody always talks about SMART goals, and then I found one that was, had SMARTER, and I love this. So your goals, should, your goals should always be SMART. They should always be specific. You should always be able to measure them. Um, agreed, meaning, how do I describe agreed? Um, we'll come back to that. Realistic, time-bound, ethical, and recorded. I, I love that they've added that on the end part, the recorded. Um, a goal that's not shared, just pitch it in the trash if you don't write it down. You know, then it's just a dream. Um, a, a dream and a hope. You know, I, I often hear girls go, I really hope I make team manager. Stop hoping. Start working. Hoping didn't get anybody any place. Dreaming. You know, my, my team is the dream team, and then it became the dream berries, and so all well, this dream stuff, but it's more than a dream. You know, it was this big audacious vision and goal that I had. I wanted to do something for my family. So make it specific. I'll talk to girls about their goals and I'll say, hey, what do you want your goal to be? And they go, oh, get out of debt. I'm like, okay, 
What does that mean? Your debt is different than my debt. And people are afraid to put a number to that. I want to make the car payment. What's the car payment? I talked to a girl that lives on the East Coast and her car payment's like $800. I like almost barfed. I'm like, you pay $800? I'm like, good for you. I mean, I just have never paid that much for a car payment before. You know, so what, you know, so when she's like, oh, I want to make a car payment, I'm like, oh, that's easy. We can knock that out $300 a month. She's like, oh, it's $874. I'm like, you can buy a house. Why are you paying for a car for that? But then I had to like back off, you're not a mother, let it go. But, you know, so, you know, it's got to be, because do you see what I'm saying? Everybody has a different idea of what something is. So your goal has to be specific. You know, those big, lofty, happy babies on clouds are great, but make it specific. You know, my goal is to be, you know, like team manager, that is, that's a thing. You know, not, well, work my business. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, so make it specific, make it measurable. I'm going to have four parties. Not, I think I'll just do some parties next month. How many? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna put yourself out there and commit to doing? Agreed. Why is agreed up there? I don't even, I gotta think back to where, where that is in my head and I didn't bring note cards like you smart, smart girls. Realistic. <laughs> You know, you can't say I'm going to have 400 parties next month. That is not realistic. Although then you could go to the next trip. For you sure. could be on the next trip, especially if you did this in January. Um, make it realistic. You know what your lives are. You know, and I always tell girls, I love that Jamberry has that awesome planner now. You know, we are a really family-oriented company. And I tell girls all the time, family first. So plot out your calendar. And then, oh, three, thank you. Perfect, that's what I thought. Oh, shoot. Okay, um, so plan it out, you know, and if you can only do two Tuesdays a month, then that's what works for you. So don't say I'm gonna do six parties because what's gonna happen when in the reality, if it doesn't work out and what's realistic, how are you gonna feel when you didn't make that goal? Disappointed, frustrated, like a failure, when you're really not. You just didn't back it up and do the work first. Agreed means, Everybody is on board with it in your family, you know, or whoever is in your life, you know, that it makes sense for them, that hubby is okay for you to be working, you know, an hour every night on your laptop or gone a couple of nights to do parties or gone on a weekend to do an event. Or how about this? You guys are here. Somebody agreed typically in your life. Unless you're me, I don't have to ask the cats if I want to go anywhere. Um, you know, somebody agreed that it was okay that you're here. Okay. Time bound. You know, you you give yourself deadlines. You know, if you don't, and if you're like me, well, then you can just push it off. I have this great thing on my phone that I, it's like a planner organizer thing, like, and it's like a checkoff list. But the great thing about it is, is it has a button where you push and it moves it till tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm the queen of move to tomorrow, move to tomorrow, move to tomorrow. Well, at a certain point, you gotta stop moving to tomorrow. It has to be time bound. I'm gonna have those four parties in January. I'm not gonna keep moving them. Ethical. <coughs> you know, we wanna do our businesses the right way. Um, we were talking this morning about girls who oftentimes will manipulate the system to make a rank or to do something like that. That's not sustainable. You know, you're, you know, if you sign your mom up so you can make your fast start and it makes you a lead consultant, if she's not gonna work her business, you're not gonna be a lead consultant ever again. Be ethical and how you know you run your business. If you have to drag somebody into the business to get what you want, you're gonna be dragging them through your entire career. And it's gonna put a drag on you. And I'm gonna go, jeez, does that Trista never work? I'm so sick of her. Why did I sign her up anyway? Oh, well, I drug her into it and like half bought her kid for her. And, you know, she doesn't do anything. I'm so sick of that. If she would only work, it would be that active life that I need. So be smart about your business, do the right thing. Get excited about why you love this and bring people in who share that same thing with you. And you know, 
and Tristan may get a fire lit underneath her. But I find when this business is somebody's own, that's when it's their business. It's not mine, it's theirs. So give them the gift of that. And then record it. Dudes, you have got to write your goals down and share them. Then you're accountable. You know, hopefully your team pages, you share your goals. Yeah, I'm, on my team, we have an event every month and it's the goals event and everybody makes these cute little pick monkey and word swag and everybody's so much more talented than me. What I do is I write it on notebook paper and take a picture of myself like I'm in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out how to work that stuff, no. But, um, but once you do that, you're, you know, you put it out there for others. And, but what does that do? It helps us to move forward as a group. We rejoice with each other's successes. We help each other when things don't you know, work out the way that we want it. So smart and smarter goals, so really important to your business. Mistakes in goal setting. <coughs> Sorry, having it be too big. Two minutes, oh my gosh. Um, too big, <laughs> too many, not specific, not written huge big mistakes in goal setting so have somebody help you when your team manager is helping you to write goals and when you're thinking about your goals make sure that it's not you know you don't want your monthly goal or whatever to be like a dissertation just have a couple you don't need ten just have two or three that makes you feel really great success if it's not specific well then it's not really a goal and it has, <coughs> I'm sorry, it has to be written. I print mine out because um, I'm writing it. I put, I put it on the steering wheel. I have it on a post-it note in my office. I have the old vision board on my door that I look at. So don't make those mistakes that are very common. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna set your goal. Then you're gonna make that plan. Okay, I'm gonna have four parties. You didn't write it down. Then you had to do something. What does that mean? I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call the people who checked. I want to have a party from an event. Do you know when you go to an event and you do those little slips and people say, yes, I want to have a party, and then you never follow up? Hello, fire yourself. You know, seriously, that person is giving you permission to contact them. They want to have a party with you. I want to join your team. And then we don't call them back. Seriously? The girl that I first wanted to join under never called me. So I joined under Amy Smith. Best decision in my life. Everything does work for a reason. But when people are excited about this opportunity, you gotta capitalize on it right now. So you gotta get outside of your comfort zone and make that contact, so make that plan. Get to work. You know, are you setting aside 30 minutes, 45 minutes a day? That doesn't mean that you're liking cat memes on Facebook. It means you're actually working, okay? <laughs> Stick to it. I have to tell you, I, I'm just like Jody. There's been times in this business when I'm like, done, out. Hanging by the, hanging by my little shredded nail wraps. <laughs> and every time I push past that, and I push, and I keep pushing, guess what happens? My business blows up bigger than it was before. You know, there was a time when I'm like, man, I am so out, I can't even stand it. And then Adam Hepworth, our CEO stands up and says, we need to make a course correction. And it changed my life because they listen and they course correct. They make things happen. So stick to it. And piece of advice there, if what is working here isn't working, course correct. Look outside of the box. Ask a mentor. Ask another person on your team. Ask somebody who's in the same place you are. Looking for a way to make a difference. And then you'll reach your goal. And then you can make a bit of, bigger one. Then you move on to another one. I love this one. A dream is just a dream, but a goal is a dream with a plan and a deadline. We can all say that we want to be elite executives, because that sounds good. But you got to have a roadmap to get there. Set daily, monthly, and long-term goals and dreams. Don't ever be afraid to dream too big. Because nothing is impossible if you believe in yourself, you can achieve it. And I wanted to end with just one other quick thing. I know I'm out of time. When we were at the executive retreat, Holly Ennis, our training director, gave us these books, Living Your Best Year Ever. And guys, this is hard work. <laughs> Doing stuff like this, making a business plan, looking at your life, 
is hard, um, really hard. Like I was a zero in the health category and because of this book, I've changed my life radically because I was a zero <laughs> in not a good way. And I always like to be a 10. But I, I love this one thing. This is all about goals. And I just want to read you this really quickly. Um, and, and it talks about goals giving you direction and speed. Three boys were out hiking and they came to an open field. They decided to have a contest to see who could walk the straightest line. The first two boys studied each step, carefully putting one foot in the other. When they looked up, they could see they had zigzagged or arched off in one direction or another. The third boy walked a perfectly straight line and did it with much more speed. How did he do it? Well, he kept his eyes focused on a single tree in the distance and he simply walked directly to it. So while most people may be paying attention to what they're doing or where they're going day by day, it's only when you have goals set out on the horizon that you can directly and expediously advance your life in that direction. So think about that big audacious goal that you have and just look at it and just keep walking towards it and put all of the right behaviors in the path of it and you'll get there.